Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and today we're planning a flight down to Melbourne, an IFR flight, actually the home of Avidyne. I'm going to show you some very cool stuff and we're going to talk about copying an IFR clearance here today. Now I have that already on file going into Melbourne and we're going to work through the radio communications and also the planning, the thinking ahead of working through an IFR flight, especially in the single pilot environment. IFR flying is all about how well we think ahead, so we're going to do that here together. It starts by grabbing the ATIS. Let's grab the ATIS here together. 2.6, altimeter 3025, visual approach, runway 18 in use, VFR departures, advise ground control the direction of flight, use caution for increased bird activity in the vicinity of the airport, advise on initial contact you have hotel. Hotel. Ocala Tower, information hotel, 1851 Zulu, wind 220 at 5, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 18, 2.6, altimeter 3025. I have everything. I have information hotel. Now, we're very, very blessed and lucky. We have our iPad mounted here in front of us. And you can see here, I have craft, right? Clearance, route, altitude, frequency, transponder, squat code. Already programmed here in front of me. Now, what I want to do on my scratch pad here using floor flight is I want to think as far ahead of this airplane as possible. I know I'm heading down to Melbourne. So I can put M. L B. What can I pre-fill on here? I don't know my route. I'm hoping I get as filed. I don't know my altitude. Uh, I do know my frequency because I can look that up anywhere, just about, and find that. And I fly out of Ocala all the time. So I know out of here it's Jack's approach on 118.6. Don't mind my handwriting, but I don't think anybody has nice handwriting on a four-flight scratch pad. I don't know my transponder squat code. I have information on hotel that I wrote down over there. I'm thinking as far ahead. I know I'm going to Melbourne. I hope it's as filed as 118.6. If it's not as filed, I'm still ready for that. Let's give ground a call. Let them know we have hotel, and we're ready to copy. We Clarence and ground uh, are the same individuals here at the Ocala Airport. Afternoon, Ocala ground. Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu. Ready to copy IFR to Melbourne. Two three Mike Zulu, Ocala ground. Clear to Melbourne via Victor five three seven the Presque. Then direct. Maintain two thousand. Expect seven thousand. One zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency will be one one eight point six. Squawk four two zero six. Two three Mike Zulu cleared to Melbourne via Victor five three seven to Presque two thousand seven thousand and ten one eight point six and four two zero six in the transponder. Three Mike Zulu, back correct to your radio taxi. Yes, we have hotel and array taxi from the North T hangers. Three Mike Zulu, thank you. Runway one eight, uh, taxi via Alpha one. One eight via Alpha one, thank you. Two three Mike Zulu. I told you that handwriting is just not getting any better, is it here? All right, so I'm Victor 537 to Presque. We're going to get all that programmed here in just a second, and I'm going to show you a great way to utilize all available cockpit resources. Thinking ahead. I don't want to be caught by any surprises here. So I'm going to think ahead, and I'm going to get everything programmed into the Avidyne and work through my clearance just bit by bit. I'm going to stay on ground, and even before I do my run-up, I'm going to think ahead. Two, three, Mike, two, advise uh, ground ready for departure. We'll advise ground ready for departure, Mike Zulu. Interesting. All right, I'm going to come on out here. And now I need to advise ground when I'm ready for departure. That's a little different. Alpha 1, 1 8, coming out. Short, easy taxi for once at the Ocala Airport. Not always that common. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of angle us this way a little bit for our run up and getting everything situated with us just a little further, perhaps. Okay. Let's work through this here together now. Melbourne via Victor 537 to Presque. Let me show you something cool here. Again, we're spoiled. We have a super cool Avidyne keyboard. We don't have to do anything. I can type all this in here. I'm on the FMS page. And I'm okay, on the flight plan now. page. No, I'm on the flight plan page here that I already have set up. Victor 
Chapter 537, if you do research on it, you'll see, obviously comes off of OCF. So we have a uh, we have a VOR here at the field. So I need to go ahead. I'm just typing here OCF. It knows that. I'm going to press Enter. I'm going to press Enter again, and I'm going to scroll down. Everything's happening over here. I'm going to scroll down to look for Victor 537. It knows all of the Victor airways that come out. So I'm going to go down to Victor 537. I'm going to press Enter. It's now asking me, where do I wish to exit Victor 537? I see press. Remember, I tell you, who knows how to spell half these weird IFR fixes? I spelled it P-R-E-S-K. It is P-R-E-S-K, but that's still, I got lucky on that one. They're not always easy to spell there. There's Presk. I'm going to go ahead and press Enter. Now, doing more research further, I did a lot of research on the ground for this flight here. Presk is actually initial on the approach I want to shoot into Melbourne. I always want to file and work towards an approach on there. I wasn't expecting to get Presk, but I did. So after that, I can just head into K-M-L-B and press Enter. And I've got my entire route here, because my route actually doglegs. It's OCF to Vanny to Sermo, and at Sermo I actually change headings, and it kind of shows me everything else there. I've got my route pre-programmed in there, so I can go back to the map page if I want to see what that actually looks like um, with that. You can see there's my dogleg at Sermo bringing me in Presk into MLB. I have all that there. That's great. I'll leave it up on the FMS page so we can see that there. And my keyboard, uh, I just got Velcro down here for a second. Next, they told me 2,000, 7,000, and 10. Well, let's bug my altitude over here on the Dynon real quick. Let's bug it for 2,000, just so I kind of know, and I'll expect 7,000 in one zero minutes. 118.6. Well, I have ground here, I have tower here, I could work down to nav 2, com 2, I'm sorry, and put 118.6 in there. I haven't done my run-up yet, I'm just thinking ahead of this airplane. 118.6, and then 4206, 4206, and just double check everything. I'm heading to MLB, Victor 537 to Presk, down to MLB, which you can see here. I have 18.6 down and 2. All it's going to be is a simple switch there. 4206 set. He advised me to contact ground first when I'm ready for my IFR departure. I'm going to do my run-up uh, quickly here, um, and then I'm going to come back to you when I'm ready to call up ground. Give me just one second to knock out my run-up. All right, so run-up is complete now. Everything looks great. I'm going to inch over here and ground asked me. Again, a little different, but everybody's different. Uh, ground asked me to give him a call first when I'm ready to depart. And ground 2-3 Mike Zulu is run-up complete. 2-3 Mike Zulu, very good. Contact tower. Over tower, thanks. That was interesting. And now over to tower. Tower 2-3 Mike Zulu's Alpha 118 awaiting IFR release. Star 23 Mike Zulu, Caltar Roger, fly runway heading, maintain 5,000, runway 18, cliff takeoff. Runway heading 5,000, clear for takeoff. 23 Mike Zulu, thank you. All right, I'm going to change this. He's friendly today. Already adjusting, right? Changing my bug up to 5,000 now. And to runway heading, which I'll get in there as well. Final is clear, coming out on the runway. Can you see how intensive single pilot IFR can be? Trying to knock everything out. I've got runway heading bugged. I've got 5,000 set. I've got everything else set. Good, good, good. Transponder squawk codes in. Heels hit the floor, toes the bottom of the pedal, smoothly applying full power. And airspeed's alive. Inch engages green, 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 green. And there we are, 60 in, rotate. Up and flying, runway heading up to 5,000. And next thing I'm waiting for is to be told to contact Jacksonville Approach. So we're just flying straight on out, runway heading on up, waiting to hear back from Ocala Tower. Not so bad, but can you see where in the single pilot environment, it can get hectic. Now add real IFR conditions to this. We're spoiled today. It's a beautiful day. Single pilot IFR can be such a challenge, and it's all about thinking ahead of your airplane here. Go back to map mode so I can see everything here. Zoom back in a little bit. System 3, Pop Mike, Kelsey, Roger, report a 5-mile final for only 1-8. 
five miles uh, straight in, uh, runway uh, 18, uh, report, uh, Cessna 3, Mike. Cessna 2, 3, Mike Zulu, contact Jax, approach. Have a good day, sir. Tour Jax, have a great day. See you, Mike Zulu. All right. Seven miles northwest down, converging as a Cessna at 5,000. Good afternoon, Jack. Skyhawk 23 Mike Zulu, 1300, climbing 5000. Number 23 Mike Zulu, Jack's departure. Good afternoon, Ident. Ident, Mike Zulu. Oh, Ident flash for him. Number 3 Mike Zulu, ready to contact a mile south of Ocala. Clear direct thermo, D E R M O, to join Victor 537. Climb and maintain 7000. 7,000 direct sermo for Victor 537. Thank you, 23 Mike Zulu. Look at this. What we get on the ground now changes even further here. However, because I thought ahead, sermo is already in here for me. I can go ahead and work my way directly to sermo that I have already set there. I've got sermo fly direct a 151 heading, it says. Direct to sermo up to now 7. Thousand feet, and we are on our way to Sermo in Hell Victor 537, up to 7,000 feet. How they change things on us, right? It was along our route, but we're kind of just skipping through and working there. So now we know. IFR flying is always changing, always evolving. The secret is to always be thinking ahead of the airplane. Look how much time we spent on the ground just getting a short little flight, like from Ocala to Melbourne, prepared and ready. Knowing they're going to change things, but as pilots, we're willing to adapt and willing to multitask as well. Listen, I can't wait to read your comments below this video on Facebook, on YouTube, on M0A.com. Please be sure uh, to like this video, to subscribe on YouTube, to like us and follow us on Facebook. It means the absolute world to us. Enjoy the rest of your day, and most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. We'll see ya. Thank you. As my Christmas present to you all, I'm giving away all of my books for free. This goes to all current online ground school members and all new online ground school members. The Secret of Perfect Landings, In-Flight Emergencies, all my checkride prep books, they're yours totally free. All you have to do is visit groundschoolacademy.com and be a current member from today on to January 31st, 2019. You get all my books for free. The link will be inside the online ground school there and members, I'll be emailing you how to download all your free books soon.